Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and a few months ago, Ubiquity had sent me this Unify Dream Machine back in November, which I did a review of it. And this is a follow-up on February 16th of 2020 about the Dream Machine and how it's working. If you want to learn more about me and my company, head over to lawrencesystems.com. If you want to hire a short project, there's a hires button at the top. If you want to help the channel out in other ways, there are some affiliate links down below to get you deals and discounts on products and services we talk about on the channel. So this is actually where it sits in my daughter's apartment, and it's been there for a little while now, a few months, and it's working wonderful. I would know because my daughter, her boyfriend, and the cat would let me know if there's any problems with the internet. And uh, it has been working great. They did have one minor outage, had nothing to do with the Dream Machine, and everything to do with Comcast and Lime being cut. So everything is great, 98%. Why does it say 98%? Well, once in a while, it does say high retries for the Google Home Mini and uh, the LG uh, K40 and occasionally my daughter's phone, which isn't showing up right now in the metrics, but it will give that once in a while in there. I think we have to increase this to uh, maybe last seven days. And here we go. So it occasionally gives this error, but not enough to actually cause any real problems. And it also says low signal strength. Sometimes it does that when they're leaving the house because it connects again to the, as you can notice out in the parking lot here, and eventually fades off. So there are not any real errors, but at least I'll address to say those are the errors you're getting. But as far as asking my daughter, does your phone work perfectly fine? She goes, oh yeah. Now, what do they use it for? Well, People in their 20s definitely do this. Um, 1.83 gig of traffic, streaming media being the dominant uh, amount of data, and the apps they use are going to be pretty much, they watch YouTube. No shock there. What do they watch YouTube on? Streaming media, Chromecast. So the Chromecast works perfectly fine. It's just the standard, not wired, but wireless Chromecast device, not hardlined in. The only thing hardlined in is her laptop. She does have that plugged directly in where she plays some games. Uh, she doesn't download too many games in there because of the Wi-Fi cap limits that Comcast has. So that does uh, not show up in here quite as much. But overall, it has worked really, really well, has not caused any problems. I've not gotten any support calls from the kids um, wondering how their system's working or why it, this or that isn't working. Like I said, there's not a whole lot connected to it. Right now, um, it's showing the Google Home Mini and the LG K40. Uh, the one thing I will comment on is the threat management. Now, I only have it in intrusion detection, not prevention mode. And my guess is their surfing habits are just incredibly boring because there's simply nothing in here in terms of threat management. So no issues there. Now to go over here and talk about the internet security threat management. It's set to level five and in intrusion detection. I didn't want to put it on prevention in case it would accidentally block some of her homework websites that she has to do for schooling. Um, but, you know, so far it hasn't uh, blocked anything and really hasn't found anything. So I could probably turn it on to intrusion prevention if I needed to as well. But the overall has been working fine. The Wi-Fi network, for those wondering, is named CryptoLocker.exe. I figured, hey, that's the best way to get people maybe to not bother them, although it does have a reasonable password on it. Eh, you don't want people necessarily poking at your Wi-Fi, and in apartments, people tend to do that and guess passwords, but haven't really had any issues. Now, I will comment that over the last several months, it's still on version 5.12.22. I have it, as far as I know, set to automatically update, and there just hasn't been an update for it, but it hasn't had any problems. I know that it has been uh, restarted once or twice, and but the overall with it is it just works. And I think that's the important part uh, when you want to talk about a Wi-Fi for a small home. And I really would recommend this still. I still think the product is great in terms of its functionality. And one other thing I will comment on because a few people have asked this is can you add other devices to it? And absolutely. This is a pretty good ideal system uh, for home networks because when you want to set something up and have it in like an apartment, great, it's got coverage. But if you want to take it with you when you move to a house or something bigger, yeah, you can easily do that because you can adopt another access point to it, plug one or two more access points in and have one nice big Wi-Fi network across the area you live in. And um, the overall, pretty easy to manage. You don't have to worry about, you know, the controller and everything because it's all integrated in. So I still really like this device for home users. I think it does a very adequate job. Maybe even some small offices would benefit from this. You know, you could probably even throw this in in a restaurant because it does have the ability uh, to create more than one network and create a guest network as well, which is impressive for such a small little compact device that's 
relatively easy to set up. So refer back to my other review if you want more in depth about it. This is mostly just me following up because, well, you know, you knew it worked out of the box when I did it, but that's not ever a surprise. But what does it look like after several months? And if there's any changes or if there's anything like an update break something, well, I'd do a video on that too. But so far it's been several months, there hasn't been any updates, but it also hasn't broke, hasn't had any problems. And, uh, I think that's an important aspect to think about is what does the long term look like on these devices? Granted, it's only a few months, but still, it hasn't had any problems. And for a new product to come out and not have any problem in the first few months is a good thing. Thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.